Hi, it's Megan. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you what I got my kids for Easter. Um, so I have two kids. I have a five-year-old daughter, Lucy, and a 20-month-old daughter, Isla. Um, so let's start with what I'm getting Lucy, my five-year-old. So how we do Easter baskets is we kind of do like one main thing, a couple of like filler things, and then they get sometimes they get candy in their baskets. And then we also do an egg hunt where they get candy as well. So this is kind of like her main thing is this camping Barbie. Hopefully you can see past the glare. Uh, we really like to go camping as a family and Lucy is getting into Barbies recently. If you saw my What I Got My Kids For Christmas video, um, she's, she I think only has like the princess Barbie. So this will be her first like just regular doll Barbie. But it comes with all these fun accessories um, and a little a little pet, which I think she will enjoy including like has like a sleeping bag and a backpack and just lots of fun things that I think she will like quite a bit. Something that's extra cool about this is I got it on clearance at my local Kroger store. They were clearancing a ton of toys. And so I got this set for only four fifty for all of this. I also got a ton of other Barbie sets um, and Lego sets were all being clearanced for like probably 70 to 80% off. And I just found a really, really good deal. So, and then from the dollar store, I got her a couple of things. Um, I got her this like sticker face book. She really enjoys these. I like that this one isn't super big and so we don't have to keep it for forever. She can do the activities and then be done with it. And then Lucy is also getting really good at reading um, and starting to read. And so I got her also from the dollar store, this Daniel Tiger book. My one-year-old also loves Daniel Tiger. And so I'm sure Lucy and Isla, Lucy will really enjoy reading this to Isla and I will be very happy to listen to this story. Um, also from the, I got, a couple other things from the dollar store. Lucy has been asking for a bug catcher. A bug catcher. Um, I don't know where she saw that or what she was thinking of. So I thought about getting her like a big net. Um, but then when I was at the dollar store, I actually found this this little set, which I think she'll like more. It just has a little tiny net. And then back behind here is this like box that you can put the bugs in on a little string. And there's like a magnifying glass up on the top so that you can like see the bugs better. Um, and it has like holes and stuff for air and so she doesn't actually really like bugs she's kind of scared of them so I don't know where this came from but it's, it's only $1.25 and it will make her happy this summer um also lots of times when I'm doing Easter baskets and this is kind of how my Easter basket was growing up is I try to do like outdoorsy things or more like consumable things not so many like toys um Usually there might be like one toy, but then mostly it's other like outdoorsy things or things that we'll use for camping that summer or things to play with outside. Um, after Christmas, I oftentimes will go clearance shopping and get things for Easter baskets. This is one of those things. It's just a little bathtub toy, a little pail and a little squirter with Minnie Mouse. This was like a quarter or 50 cents. Um, and the girls do need a few new bath toys. So I got that for her. Um, also from the dollar store, I got this little tiny mini Uno game. <laughs> um, Lucy is definitely enjoying learning how to play like the next level up of games, like not just little kid games anymore, but ones that like actual grown-ups play too. <laughs> and so she really, really likes Uno and is pretty good at it. So I thought she would really enjoy this like little tiny mini set. And um, this would be really good for when we travel as well, um, for us to have something to do with her after, or like when Isla's trying to go to sleep or something, we can play this with her and it won't take up very much room in our bags. Um, Lucy also loves flamingo. So while I was at the dollar store, I found this cute little plastic flamingo and it's a little light. So let me pull out the tab. So it lights up and I just think she'll think that that is so cool. So I just got that as a little like decoration for her room. And then Lucy is also my artist and loves doing arts and crafts. So I got these crayons. I got these like an after, I think it was like fall clearance. Maybe it was even after Christmas. I can't remember. Um, but these crayons are neon and they were only like 50 cents, 75 cents or something like that. So I think she'll really enjoy those. And then two other things. Um, I got her her own Owala water bottle. These are my favorite water bottles. Um, and I, when I saw that they came out with kids ones, I was very excited because I wanted to get some for my girls. Um, they were a little bit expensive, but these I actually found at Sam's Club in a two pack um, for not very much. I think it was like 12 or $13 for the two pack. And so these end only ended up being like six or $7, which is a fantastic deal for a kid's water bottle anyways, but especially one that's um, insulated like this is. So something that's cool about them is they're insulated. They have a straw on them. Um, 
And then the grown-up ones you can um, drink from, like you can tip like this, or you can drink from the straw. So for the kids' ones, they just pop open like this, and then you can close it. And then there's also back here, there's a little lock, like a little switch that you can switch over. So that way when you push down on this, they don't open, which will be helpful for when we don't want things to be spilling. <laughs> so I got her the pink one because pink is her favorite color. And then I'll show you Isla's, um, the one that she's getting when it's her turn. And then lastly, I just have these little carrot bags that I got from the dollar store. And these um, I'll just fill or not fill, but I'll put some candy in or I might put some of like the smaller things that Lucy's getting, like the crayons and the Uno game. Um, I'll probably put in here just to make them look extra cute. So for Isla, like I said, she is 20 months old and she loves everything her big sister does <laughs> and is very independent and into a lot of things. So for her, I also got her a carrot to put either like small things or candies or whatever in for her. I also got her a little like toy for the tub with the little squirter and the little bucket. Um, hers has Mickey Mouse on it and she loves Mickey. And this is her Owala water bottle. Um, I love the colors of this one. She likes pink, but she, whenever she's coloring, um, she always tends to lean towards, um, yellow and orange. So we're thinking those are her favorite colors, even though you know, she's not even two, so she can't really tell us that yet. But, um, I just thought this one is so cute and they just look so adorable together. If I have time, I might use my Cricut and like personalize them with their names on them, or I might just leave them plain. It depends on what else I have going on and if I can actually get around to doing that or not. If not, I can always personalize them later and after the fact. Um, also for Isla, I got this after clearance as well. She loves Elsa. And so I don't know if you can see past the glare very well, but this is just like a little like toothbrush holder set. Um, Lucy has one that's a Minnie Mouse one that I got her a couple years ago, also like after Christmas. Um, and she got it for either Easter or Valentine's Day, I can't remember. And um, so it has just like this giant Elsa head. <laughs> and then next to it is just like a little tray for like a little drink cup, rinsing cup. And then there's a toothbrush as well. She has other toothbrushes. This toothbrush is probably a little bit too big for her to use. Um, so she'll just use her regular one, but she can just stick it inside of here. There's like a little holder in the back and she'll be very excited to have one that's Elsa and to have something that's just like her sister's. And then also with Isla, I also got her um, this animal sticker book. She is just getting into figuring out how to do stickers. Since Lucy's getting one, I know Isla will want one as well. And she's definitely starting to get into um, the arts and crafts and the coloring and the doing activities like this, um, especially with Lucy. And it, doing stickers is a really great way for her to develop her fine motor skills. So. Um, she will be excited about that. She also loves animals. So this one has like all the animals on it. Lucy's had like unicorns and ponies and stuff. Um, so I think Isla will really enjoy that. And then I also got her a Daniel Tiger book, even though she can't read this, Lucy will be able to read this to her or um, my husband and I can read this to her as well. And she just loves, Isla loves Daniel Tiger so, so much. So she'll be very excited about that. And then lastly, I got her for her like toy. Um, I got her this music set. She's really, she's really into um, music and dancing and um, really likes going to like the music class at the library. We have a few instruments already. Um, they're not something that I leave out all the time. Otherwise our house would be constantly noisy, but I do pull them out a couple times a week, um, like after naps for the girls to play with until my husband gets home. So this one has um, different instruments that we don't really have. It comes with maracas, a tambourine, um, a kazoo, cymbals, and then this little like clapper thing. We have a couple of those already, um, but having one more will be great because then the girls won't have to fight over them. Um, but I love Melissa and Doug. Their toys always are really good quality. Um, we've got a lot of Melissa and Doug things for Lucy that have lasted her five years and now Isla is also playing with them. So every time I see Melissa and Doug, I know that they are pretty good quality. Um, this I also was able to get on clearance at Walmart just randomly one day. I think I got it on clearance for like maybe 10 ish dollars. And this set is usually 20 or 30 on Amazon. So that was a really good deal. So that's everything I got my kids for Easter. Drop some comments below with things that you are getting or um, ideas that you have for kid Easter baskets. I know I'm always 
trying to come up with some good, like useful, not just junky <laughs> things for my kids. Um, so if you could leave me some comments about what you're doing, that would be great. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.